Good morning everybody and welcome back to the reef. So I spent the last hour or so uh, playing with the Hanna Magnesium Checker. Now some people reached out to saltwateraquarium.com and to Hanna and looked for a solution. The solution that was posted was that if you remember um, it read to use four milliliters of reagent A. Um, Hannah stated that we should increase reagent A to five milliliters. So I did probably 12 tests now. Uh, I started, first one was 1400, then 13, Hundred like thirteen twenty, thirteen ten, uh, and then twelve twenty, twelve ten, twelve eleven. Um, it is very touchy on making sure that you do everything exactly perfect in exactly the same way that you do it every single time. Okay. So I'm going to go through, and I have double checked this now with. Uh, Red Sea using my wife to see the colors because I can't see um, the magnesium one to save my life. If somebody could just have a gun to my head and be like, what color is it? And I'd be like, ah, it's orange and dead. So I'm going to go over this step by step. Um, I have been getting uh, like 1120 to 1140 pretty consistently now which uh, the Red Sea read at 1,200. Um, Hannah lists this as having a, an accuracy of, if you remember from the last video, five plus or minus 5% of the actual value. So if you take that and the actual value is around 1,200 and you're using the um, accuracy range that is reported by Red Sea, um, Hannah is is correct as long as you do it this perfect way every single time no matter what and for the love of God wear gloves while you do it I am trying to look up what these chemicals are um, but there's there's nothing actually listed on here as to what what is in this reagent other than it's cancer causing and it's dangerous So I'm going to do more research about that, and then I'll get to you guys about that. So, it's important that you get one of your 5 milliliter syringes that has a good seal. I am going to write them and tell them that none of my syringes and none of the tips hook onto each other, which is, is literally defeats the entire purpose of having this test kit. Okay. So, into the liquid... The, see we're getting a little air leakage in there so so the base of that plunger the last little part where it contacts the 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 cylinder is at five milliliters okay. we put that in here and you can see it oh no oh boy look at that it failed again. So the problem is, is there's no way of you getting in there to trade this out and pull it out. So now we have to completely dump this and start over again because I lost probably a milliliter of my reagent. So we'll use some RODI water. Rinse them out real good. Okay, and now I also have reagent all over me, which is even better. We'll use a tissue for this side. Uh, oh boy, okay. Oh boy. Well, that, that ain't working. 
we're gonna ditch that one. We're gonna change gloves. So now I'm just covered in the reagent. If I can get another pair of gloves on here. Um, gloves are cheap. Okay. Um, a box of gloves, I think, is like five bucks, and there's a hundred gloves in a box. Um, I usually just buy what I use it what uh, the one hospital carries because I really like that. Um, or uh, these are the style that we use at work, and I just found like the supplier and I buy them there too. Okay. So I'm hoping that I can get them to send me another um, tester, like set of syringes and uh, tips, because this is, um, if it's this sensitive, like I, I even purposely made one or two that uh, weren't super accurate with their filling method of like the, the volume and it just wildly throws off your numbers. So you, you've literally got to do everything. See, this is not going to seal anymore, like no matter how hard I try. <sighs> yep, we're already losing. So I see a lot of bubbles in the top, which means that we were getting air leakage, which means this is already probably going to be wildly inaccurate. I was using also my 10cc syringe that I used to do all of my other tests. And because you can't see the five milliliter line, it's just grossly inaccurate again. Um, so I used the other five milliliter syringe to draw this up our salt water, put that into the vial. Now ideally you would also use the, like that's just from touching whatever reagent A is. One, four, five, okay. So remember this is not going to be accurate. It's not gonna be around what I've been getting because we know it's already off. So that was five milliliters of the first reagent, five milliliters of sample, one milliliter. Again, you should be using the tip to draw this out, but guess what, none of the tips fit. It's in one, two, three, four, five, and it goes. Press the button. Eleven forty. So not bad, not bad at all actually. It's very good. Um, all right. So based off of our values and the accuracy range of both of our test kits, that's, this is probably right. And this is about what Triton gives me every time I send something to, uh, uh, an evaluation over to Triton. They say it's about 1200. Um, and I've been trying to get it higher, but I'm just not succeeding in that. So that's why I've been hoping for this to come out so that I can 
keep tabs of it a little better and be able to dose better uh, and hopefully get it to normal numbers. So that's all I've got for this. That's really all I've got today as well, honestly. Um, if you've got any questions, leave a comment and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.